shares of Junting Hong Kong, controlled by Malaysian billionaire Lim Kok Tai, tumbled on Thursday as the bankruptcy filing of the cruise ship operator's shipyard subsidiary in Germany cast doubts on whether the group can meet its financial obligations. Genting Hong Kong slumped 56% to close at zero Hong Kong dollars. 32 in Hong Kong as it resumed trading after being suspended since Friday, ahead of the bankruptcy filing by MV Werfen. The German cruise ship builder filed for bankruptcy in Germany on Monday after failing to reach an agreement with the government there to support additional financing for a mega cruise ship the company is building for its Hong Kong listed parent. Pending the outcome of the legal proceedings, there is no guarantee that the group will be able to meet its financial obligations under its financing arrangements as and when they fall due, Genting Hong Kong said in a statement on Thursday, as the travel industry grappled with with the lingering impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, Genting Hong Kong sought additional financing to complete the construction of the 342-meter-long cruise ship, dubbed the Global Dream, which could accommodate as many as 9, 500 passengers. While agreements were secured with creditors in June 2021, Euler Hermes, the German government's export credit insurance agency, refused to confirm the insurance coverage for the funding facility, preventing creditors from dispersing the loan in December, the operator of Star Cruises said in a regal. Such a business review was not a precondition for Euler Hermes insurance coverage under the financing agreement, it added. With the refusal of Euler Hermes to provide for insurance cover and the German government's move to replace the financing facility with a new financing proposal that imposes additional conditions, Genting Hong Kong said its unit MV Werfen filed for insolvency proceedings with the German courts on M. The German government has blamed Genting for the collapse of the cruise ship builder, putting at risk some 2,000 jobs. An offer of aid was rejected by MV Werfen's owners, Economy Minister Robert Habeck was quoted by Bloomberg as saying in, in an emailed statement.